beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Hallelujah. You will see how cheap Satan is at the end of this teaching. Really, really. Look, let me tell you something. Not everybody is intimidated by Satan. He knows that there are people that know him. How many of you have some brothers that um, will go into a place where nobody knows them and they'll just be shining and lying? And the day you come, you say, What did you say? You say you were staying in a three bedroom flat. Oga, I know you. We grew up together. That's what we'll do to the devil. We tell him, no, all this, this noise you are making, we know you. We know where we know ourselves. Behave and live. Hallelujah. Say amen if you believe that. Amen. So that all of those threats, when somebody comes to tell you, I know you will not make it. I know you. And you are crying and running up and down. Save your tears. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So the book of Ephesians talks to us about being seated with Christ and then it also tells us how to walk. How to live the Christian life, the Christian character. Hallelujah. From chapter 3 down to chapter 5. And then chapter 6 tells us how to stand against the wiles of the enemy. I don't want to go over part 1. Please, we have the, the teachings. Listen to it very, very well. And there was something I shared in part one. I don't know if I will repeat myself, but you need to hear it. Hallelujah. I told us the reason why Satan is all around looking for people. Praise God. Praise God. There is a reason why Satan is chasing everybody on earth. Believer, unbeliever, there is a reason and you must know why. I spoke about it quite extensively in the last teaching. Among other reasons, I told us that I spoke to us a bit about the creation of angels. How that angels were not made from the dust. Is that true? What we call thunder, the lightning, that was their material of creation. They were made from light. Hallelujah. That's why they can translate themselves. The Bible says Satan has translated himself as an angel of light. They can translate themselves and... Um, so Satan really wanted the image of God, that part of God that makes God, God. God denied him and then molded dust from the earth that he once walked upon. And then God took that which Satan desired and put it in man. And man became Satan's arch enemy. Hallelujah. All right, let's get to tonight's teaching, the mystery of wickedness. This is very important. The mystery of wickedness. I have a bad news and I have a good news. Let me start with the bad news. The bad news is wickedness is real. Say it after me. I know it's a bad news. Just say it. 
First John chapter 5 verse 9. First John. Chapter 5. Verse 19. I'm sorry, not 9. First John 5, 19. Are you there? Some people are opening the Old Testament. You must be joking. Hallelujah. First John 5, verse 19. If you are there, let's read together. One to read. And we know that we are of God and the whole world the whole world lieth in kindness brotherly affection it says the whole world lieth where in wickedness this is the truth that many people have refused to accept this world we live in is surrounded by wickedness and tonight briefly we'll examine the mystery of wickedness hallelujah very very important Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 to let us know that there is an operation of wickedness that is present in the earth and because we live here today and now and we plan to live here for a very long time. It's important to understand the realities that are here and how to exempt ourselves. Ephesians 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Against, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Finally, against spiritual wickedness spiritual wickedness in high places some versions say in heavenly places the heavenlies i told you that there are many planes of heavens is that true remember our teaching the reality of what heaven and hell get the teaching i told us that there are many dimensions in the realm of the spirit many when you say the heavenlies you're not necessarily talking about the heaven of heavens where God dwells or the third heaven. There are many planes in the spirit and the Bible generally calls it heavens. Are you getting my point? And I told us that this is where some people have gone to and come back and say they went to heaven. They went to astral realms. They went to different kinds of realms. Hallelujah. The Bible says that there are entities that are called spiritual wickedness. It's even a name. Spiritual wickedness. And they dwell in the heavenlies. They operate from that plane. Hallelujah. So the whole world. Lieth in wickedness. How come we are not taught. That this world we live in. From the moment you are born. You are born into a system. That is fabricated. And doggedly into wickedness. And until you exit this realm, you are going to live with the reality of this predicament. So, knowing how to exempt yourself and your loved ones and exempt all that are around you is the reason why we are taking this topic. Are you getting my point? You are not going to stop the world from being wicked. Are you getting my point? Because the Bible calls Satan the God of this world. The God of this system. The one who fashioned a system that does not honor the values of the kingdom. Someday, every knee will bow experientially. Is that true? And every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. But as at now, we do not yet see all things. Remember our teaching last week? We do not yet see all things. That's the reason why there are a brother who was saying, Ambrobas came and wanted to injure him. Think about it. Why will somebody sit down in the night? While you woke up in the morning, he was thinking, I'm going to wound somebody this night. How can a man think this is his goal for the day? I must wound somebody this night. It's called the mystery of wickedness. How many of you say, oh, why are they treating us bad? Who did I offend in my village that they want to stop me from marrying? Welcome to the reality of this world. 
you you don't dr paul and Encher says this this the earth realm is not a playing ground he said it's a battlefield whether you believe it or not as you grow the realities that will confront you will make you to reconsider whether it is a joke or it is true that wickedness is real many preachers listen to me many preachers in a bid to magnify god and demagnify satan have while that is a good intention they have lied to people are you getting me lied to people that uh, there is the concept of wickedness it does not exist please get this once and for all wickedness is real are you getting me somebody just gets up and looks at you and say benga i don't like you why i i choose to hate you and my life's goal is to prove to you that i hate you you buy a nice car and take it home somebody just begins to frown ah uh ah -uh. car how old is this boy 25 25 i was 40 when i bought a bicycle and because of that listen 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 many of us grew up in the cities we grew up around we watched all kinds of 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 deceitful films that have covered us from the reality of the fact that wickedness is real a number of us here are not working but for those who are working you know that when you get a job for one single space of promotion there may be a number of people and everybody's eyeing every other person is that true the day your director calls you they call you and say so what did he say the next day you come back and your director say don't be stupid me i spoke to you something happened somewhere that you are not aware of but you are paying a bitter price those who understand that wickedness is real and have equipped themselves with the revelation and the spiritual arsenals will keep soaring as if Satan does not exist. And they will leave others crying and languishing. There are many of our loved ones who don't go home. Some of you have not even gone home since you were born. Because they told you one scary story. They say nobody goes there and comes back the same. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare. Occultism is real. Witchcraft is real. Yokes are real. Bondages are real. Even Jesus said he was sent to deliver those who have been locked up in prison. They didn't see the prison physically, but they are in prison. Moving, but in prison. Hallelujah. This is what is affecting a lot of families. A lot of families. And I prophesy to you that in the name that is above all names, as we are teaching, just as the teaching is going on, many of you will suddenly find out that liberty, you are just liberated from this nonsense that the devil wants to tie you with. The strength of evil is ignorance the strength of evil is ignorance that's the highest weapon satan uses against the people of god ignorance the bible says in psalm 82 he said they know not neither do they understand they know not and then a few of us have gone a step further to know the name of jesus Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And it's not producing any result at all. So we are going to be examining these things. Praise the Lord. So wickedness is real. What is the goal of wickedness? Why wickedness? What is the goal of the evil that we see in our society? What does Satan want to achieve with arm robbers and terrorists and wicked people? In the villages and around witches and wizards, necromancers, people who try to project wickedness to people's lives. What is the goal? We must know where Satan is going. Why is he doing this? Hallelujah. What is the whole idea behind the, the, the devil trying to turn the heart of your father against you? 
or your mother against you or your loved ones or your employer or your boss or your pastor whatever why does satan enjoy wickedness what does it do to him hallelujah wickedness or evil generally is brought to attempt to achieve three things number one to discredit god to discredit god in your life to discredit god if there is anything satan is obsessed about is bringing you to a point where the credibility of god drops to zero in your life how many of you have had people say i used to trust god but right now i trust anything that works god or others have you heard people speak like that they say i remember i trusted god from 17 years till 40 years god didn't bring a husband right now i trust any other thing whether a stick a candle fire once it produces result i trust it that's exactly the goal of wickedness when armed robbers attack you and you are shouting jesus jesus and they still injure you and they wound you when certain things happen they attempt to discredit god discredit the word never forget this the mystery of wickedness was put in place by satan first in an attempt to prove that god is not as great as we claim he is so when a man has been victimized so much that 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 pain becomes a stronghold in his mind how many of you have seen people that when you are praying their eyes are even open they are just looking at you say in jesus name amen while you are praying they feel like slapping you once you just round up the prayer they just move you know they didn't believe this at all the mystery of wickedness at work in their lives hallelujah are you getting my point when you tell your parents oh i'm attending koinonia god is doing great things and then the devil orchestrates something terrible to happen are you getting me your father has an accident or something like that and he returns back and you say daddy i just wanted you to know that i dropped your name in the prayer request he will give you a dirty slap and say you and all the liars and every man of god is a liar the mystery of wickedness number one to discredit god do you not see that that was exactly what lucifer tried to do in the garden of eden he came and met eve read his conversation with eve he said did god really say if you eat of this fruit you will die now you know that he used half truth right it was not he just patched it up he said but do you know that there is a story you do not know and that's why that's what you will know when you eat of this fruit and truly when they ate of the tree the eye, their eyes were open and they began to have a sense of the knowledge of good and evil so number one to discredit god number two number two to weaken and possibly destroy your faith in god to weaken and destroy your faith in god the bible says be not weak in faith speaking about abraham now be not weak in faith the bible says he considered not so wickedness is orchestrated by satan listen please wickedness is orchestrated by satan to weaken your faith when you really see wickedness you will need to trust god to stand that's what philosophers are using why can a loving god allow children to be dying in sudan is that not what people say how can a loving god allow this and that to happen and it weakens your faith this is why Jesus says, if the son of man returns, will he find faith in the earth? Hallelujah. Are you getting my point? Especially for many of us who have been taught that when things go wrong in your life, 
It's a sign that something is wrong with you. It's a sign that something is wrong. Satan capitalizes on the inconsistency of that message. And when anything happens, you just believe that this trust you've been having in God. This is why Job said, though he slay me, Satan, you won't achieve what you are trying to achieve. Though he slay, are you seeing now? Job's wife came to a point where she was tired. She said, Job, Mio, I don't think God is faithful again. Curse God and die. When your wife tells you to curse God and die, that's a level of discouragement because she's supposed to be the last person that will stand by you. Are you getting my point now? So to discredit God, to discredit God, number two, to weaken or totally destroy your faith. Number three, what's the goal of the mystery of wickedness? To perpetuate, listen please, very important, to, I'm thinking of the best way to put it, to, to become a channel through which the program and the evil agenda of Satan for nations will continue. Let me explain what I mean. How many of you have heard that word covenant? Why will the devil want our forefathers huh, to go and bow to him and enter a covenant on behalf of people yet unborn? What, what, is, what is his passion about people that are not born yet? Are you getting what I'm, I'm trying to explain now? Because Satan is trying to secure a channel through which he can pass a transgenerational channel. Do you understand what I'm teaching you now? Are you getting my point? So although it will take 30 or 50 or 100 years for this generation to be born, Satan will say, you, since you are representing them, and I'm going to explain this to you. I will explain to you, I hope, if I can remember, the mystery of reproduction. And you understand that reproduction is not just about sex and giving birth. The Bible says by one man, not one woman, sin was transferred. Are you getting me? By one man, through the blood. Praise the Lord. So, he now enters a covenant and says, alright, in this family, we will worship you, give us children. We will worship you, give us protection. Deal. Is that true? Now he can go and give birth to 30 children, no CS with his wife. No CS, no hospital. But there will not be any complication because a pact had been entered. Are you getting my point? Fast forward two or three generations, somebody comes up and says, I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm not going to involve myself with all of these things. Because, you see, I'm going to talk about the mystery of blood. Blood does not have time. It speaks. It will raise an alert in the realm of the spirit. Something is being compromised here. And the next thing that will happen is that these people, because they are trying to breach a contract. Are you getting me? So it will activate the mystery of wickedness. The devil will now come to say, who is trying to stop this? And if you have authority enough, you will be the one who will break that cycle and enact a new one. Are you getting me? And if you do not sustain enough knowledge, you will die. And then the devil will say, this is a, an example of what I can do with anybody who plays with me. And the other person will say, I'm willing. Are you getting my point now? I don't know how you are going to write the third point, but that's what I, that's what the third point is. Praise the Lord. To become a channel through which transgenerational wickedness will be perpetuated. God bless you, sir. The mystery of wickedness. Look up. How many of you know that if there are no human beings in the earth, wickedness will be unfruitful. It won't yield any result. Is that true? When you understand this, you will know that wickedness will not cease. In fact, the Bible says it this way. The Bible says, um, how did he put it now? 
He says, ah, end time, Matthew 24. How did he put it? How that people will be offended. Is that true? Paraphrasing like wickedness will increase. The imaginations that are in the hearts of men will increase. Look at me. Those who are praying, listen, and I want you to get this. Those who want to solve their family problems by just saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, wickedness will not happen to me. When I finish with you, you will know that there are certain things that if you do not do, that prayer is incomplete. Because there is already a seed, like a gene. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you believe what I'm teaching? I know this is wrestling a lot of our theology. Oh, I'm in Christ. Calm down. We're, 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 we're heading somewhere. Because many of us have been cheated. Oh, therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. I will show you that your personal salvation does not change your territory. Are you getting my point? That I am born again does not automatically make my mother, brother, sister, and father born again. If that were the case, everybody would just kneel down on behalf of their clan and just accept Jesus once and for all and let's rest from this nonsense. Hallelujah. Is that true? So wickedness is real and the goal is to discredit God, to weaken your faith. Every single arsenal that Satan launches at the believer is aimed at discrediting the faithfulness of God because he has a name and he is called faithful and true. That means he does not lie. That means he cannot lie. That means he is ever, he's, 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 um, ever faithful through all generations. But when things begin to happen in your life that negate what the word of God is saying, that's Satan attempting to discredit God in your life. Say amen. The mystery of wickedness. Wickedness is real, brothers and sisters. This operation is working in our government. This operation is working in our families. Look at me. Look at me. How many of you have heard the stories of parents who will put something in hot iron and carry it and press it on their children? Is that called discipline? That is the mystery of wickedness. Hallelujah. Or a mother look at her own daughter and say, I curse you. You won't marry, you won't move forward. This is a, it's a spirit. It's not just an attitude. Are you getting what I'm saying, please? And if we do not understand this and deal with this, it will limit us in a very mighty way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for opening our eyes. So the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world, your village, your house, the job you are trying to look for, that office is in the midst of wickedness. You may be born again, but are your fellow employees born again? Hallelujah. And you are going to have to live with them. You do business with wicked people. You go to buy rice and buy gari from somebody who went to a herbalist. You bought it. You ate. Is that true? So you're not going to say, me, I'll only work with Christians. Uh -uh. It's impossible. You live in a world where everyone is permitted to believe what he wants to believe. And because of our interrelations, you must find yourself relating with people. So you must know how to keep Satan where he belongs. Praise the Lord. Are you following me so far? Hallelujah. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the realms and jurisdiction, the boundaries of demonic operation. I won't stay too long in this aspect because I guess that this is the part that has brought fear and confusion. And this is one of the most unscriptural areas of spiritual warfare in terms of its explanation. This is where you have people um, write accounts in an attempt to show us the structure and the organogram. Are you following me now? 
I know that there are many books hundreds and probably thousands and even millions on books of books on spiritual warfare deliverance and so on and so forth and there are many opinions are you getting me the bible tells us something very interesting it said do not be ignorant of the devices i told you the word devices is the word stratomai his strategies so we are just concerned about his strategies we are not necessarily concerned about the kingdom and what the organogram of the satanic kingdom is are you getting my point i personally believe that an extensive study into the organogram and the structure of satan is not really necessary especially in light of the fact that we know that in christ he has been defeated are you following what i'm saying so i'm just guiding us just to bring awareness there are many books and i've read some of them you have read some of them hallelujah they begin to tell you all kinds of things they list physical territories in the earth where there are headquarters of demonic activities and so on and so forth now i'm not i do not have enough authority to dispute the things that are being written are you getting my point especially for those that do not compromise the written word of god some of these things were written by people who allegedly said they were part of the demonic kingdom and for some of them they were deep into occultism there are lots of books occult grandmaster now in christ there are books by rebecca brown mary baxter um dr olukoya who is considered to be an authority in the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare there are a lot of others you know different brothers prophets people and so on and so forth who have written books others went to heaven others went to hell others died and came back others just studied the bible so we have this extensive um description level one 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 level nine 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 level six 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 level you know this and that and that and for many people we have rather than concentrating on the strategies the methods of satan and understanding our victory we have paid attention trying to study and research on the organization of the demonic kingdom let me tell you something if you do that the danger is that everything will suddenly become demonic around you have you seen people like that why are you looking at me like this they just say kai this lady you are because of something they read they say okay in our kingdom when we want to seduce a man we look at him like this so a lady is quietly she's even feeling sleepy and just looking at you just say kai in jesus name don't blood of jesus you are putting sign of the cross so we don't want to see this kind of immaturity in the body of christ that's why there must be a balance are you following me there are people who don't wear black on friday or on sunday because they read a book and he said every time you wear black on friday notice check left you will see a star that's a sign that we are coming out you know and all kinds of sects come up with now i hope you understand that i'm not condemning anybody you get my point i'm only trying to explain to you that it is quite counterproductive to spend all of our time and energy trying to understand the entire organization listen how many ceos maintain the same structures they change so that you were delivered from occult in 1980 does not mean the organogram that used to exist still exists it is logical for any leader to be dynamic are you getting my point so when you come and say okay there is a demon his name is luke is the one in charge of zaria is the one appointed to stop koinonia his name is luke what if luke what 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 if luke was promoted or demoted and they now brought another person and you are still advocating and you say luke i'm speaking to you now you are hearing my voice luke is somewhere say me i'm not even in nigeria again and now you're shouting you see there is a lot of spiritual ignorance a lot of it and most of this has come because we have uh not necessarily gone out of scripture but taken other materials and use them as the ultimate templates to help us understand the realm of the spirit
I think sufficient enough is the information the Bible gave us about Satan. I believe it is sufficient enough. Praise God. You get my point? If you were in the occult before and you were delivered and you wrote a book, please don't feel sad. If you wrote prayer point that your book should increase, it will increase. We prayed for you. Hallelujah. But at the same time, don't go about sitting down teaching people and saying, okay, in the realm of the spirit, red means danger. White means this. Yellow means this. So don't wear yellow shirts. If you really mean business with prosperity, keep yellow shirts aside. This is part of the teaching that has moved from church to church and place to place. So we have brought religiosity and a lot of forms of religion in an attempt to keep Satan. There is nowhere in scripture, listen, or you say, ah, don't take products from Procter and Gamble. They are Freemason and all of that. What do they make? How many of you have used their inhaler? You force it in your nose and you and did you go to hell? Did demons come to disturb you? You see, I'm saying this thing because we are touching on this topic and I'm trying to clear the air. There are many of you who say, I know somebody is a bad person. He sells meat. Me, I know this guy goes to the harbor. He won't eat his meat. Question. The one you have been eating before, who told you that that meat was not taken to a herbalist? Are you getting my point? Rather than allowing fear put religious rules, why don't you rise up in Revelation and realize that the Bible says a thousand shall come by your side. Only God knows how many poisons I've eaten in my life. Because the Bible says when they serve you, just give thanks and eat. Hallelujah. Many of us don't eat certain people's food. He just said, this lady is always frowning. I won't eat her food though. I don't know what I've entered right now. And then many of us, listen, I have had other teachings. Aha, let me even talk about it. I've had other teachings that say somebody can come to you. Come. He can just come and hug you and he has initiated you. Listen, let me balance something very quick. Was that how you got born again? You think, listen, I want you to understand that the will of man is a powerful force. Even Jesus stood at the door of the heart and was knocking until man agreed to open. Are you getting my point? If you are not in Christ or you are ignorant of the principles of the kingdom, it is possible. Are you getting my point? But to now come and say, oh, because I'm just sitting down and you came to put with one on my head. Suddenly, I've been initiated. Except you don't carry fire. The witch doctor together with his fire, it will burn into ashes there. There was a time people were complaining that a particular woman in Joss, she was doing some kinds of funny things and then getting power to make people come and eat her food. You know how many people ate that food? <laughs> when they told me the restaurant, I laughed. I said, oh Lord, I don't know whether I'm eating here or not, but it cannot have power over me. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. I pity the person that will go to a coven and call my name. That's the last time he will have the opportunity to shout it. Believe me. See, I'm rushing myself because let me see if we can get to weapons of victory. Except you don't know the spiritual arsenals you carry. Let me tell you, Satan can bow. This is the sweetest part of this gist. That's why I want to rush all these things so that we'll get there. Say after me, Satan can bow. I hate the way Satan has been so magnified. There are many people who teach. They say, do you know 
that these classes of demons are so powerful, not even you can stand them. There are people who believe that. I don't believe that. Absolutely. I don't believe it. The Bible says, God gave him a name that is above every other name. He said at the mention of that name, every knee, not some, every knee must bow. Hallelujah. Let's rush. So, jurisdiction, number one. Number one. The realm of the spirit. Territories of operation. Or realms of operation. Number one. The Bible says that they operate in heavenly places. So that is a realm of demonic operation. Please write quickly. Can you put strings? Or put it on door? Hallelujah. Wickedness. Now, these are the territories that exert it upon government. Remember that the Bible says, there's no time to show you this. The Bible says when Daniel was praying, remember the story? The Bible says that principality that was operating over the territory of Persia, the prince of Persia, withstood the prayers of Daniel. Is that true? When Gabriel was going to bring him the answer, he said, when, he, when Gabriel arrived, he said, from the very first day that you set yourself to pray, your prayers were heard, okay? And while he was coming, the prince of that territory. So there are powers that station themselves across territories. That's why you can see that certain geographical territories exhibit similarities of certain character. Is that true? You find out that certain people, certain territories, the men are irresponsible. Certain territories, you know, they, they, are, they are given to anger. Certain territories, they are given to irresponsibility and all kinds of things. You find out that it's a common trait because of these operations of darkness in the heavenlies. Second is the air. Please take notes. This is very important. Notice that it is the features that the Holy Spirit uses to manifest himself that satan also operates there the air the bible talks of the prince of the power of the air these spiritual forces of wickedness are the ones who manipulate and control people because the media is through the power of the air are you getting my point now they are they are the ones who initiate mind control systems and this is probably one of the most disastrous manifestations of darkness. Deception and ignorance. Are you learning something now? So the air, the prince of the power of the air. Second scriptural proof that the air is one jurisdiction of operation. Remember when Jesus was going to meet the madman in Gadara. What happened? The Bible says suddenly... The winds and the waves became boisterous. But Jesus looked and he knew that this was not just about wind. This was not just about the storm. Look at the tsunami that happens. Is it not wind? Wind. These are spirits. It's just that we cannot see it with our optical eyes. They are spirits. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? So the air. Number three. Water. Water. This is very important. This is where we talk about the marine world or marine spirits. This is the jurisdiction of darkness that is responsible for prosperity, for lust, for seduction, and all kinds of perversion. Every kind of immoral perversion is associated with this dimension of demonic operation. Water, very important. Are you learning something tonight? Water. And this one is very important. That's why you find out that territories that are covered around the riverine areas exhibit attitudes of lust. Are you getting me? Lust, unfaithfulness in marriage and all kinds of... You see it rampant. Are you getting my point? This is spiritual intelligence. I will give you sufficient to the point that you need that I believe you can research more. 
But I think that explaining to you what I'm explaining to you is giving you intelligence. So that when you are talking with people, it's like a doctor diagnosing a patient. With this spiritual intelligence, you will understand. You will know how to act. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There was a time, I remember at the Bar Beach, it was, it was a popular issue that uh, I think a particular bank or organization built a glass house. Is that true? They built a glass house and the witches and wizards around the marine, they wrote a letter to them. They said, you better do something about those buildings before we scatter it. You are interrupting us. Water. Very important. Very important. Job began to talk of the deep sea creatures. He called it Leviathan. The deep sea creatures that arise from the water. You read the book of Revelations and it tells you, you see the interaction of water and all of these things. So I've told you the realm of the spirit, the air, the atmosphere. Kabosha. The water. This water one is very serious. Do you know something? I will show you from scripture something that may surprise you. Do you know everything you see in existence? The animals and the rest. Do you know they came out of water? They came out of water. Genesis. Let me show you very quickly. There's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army the rising up they'll break every chain break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Shiba la bakura tu sebrele, shiba la dama. Help me search for it, Genesis 2. Verse what? 21 yeah beautiful thank you good bible students verse 20 and 21 genesis 1 are you there i just want to show you that the water is a very mysterious object and god said let the waters do what bring forth abundantly so there is a mystery of abundance and water are you understanding me is it in your bible it said let the waters bring forth abundantly hmm. the moving creature that have life where did they come out from he said and the fowl that may fly even the fowl came out of the water it's in your bible above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven verse 21 and god created great sea monsters and every living creature that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly are you seeing now is it in your bible the water very very important this is why satan associates himself a lot and there are many demonic diabolic things that happen with water hallelujah the next medium of manifestation is fire notice that these are the same expressions of the spirit fire almost everyone here or most of our villages have festivals there is no festival without fire. How many of you have seen diabolic people put fire and keep putting it around them? What are they trying to achieve? It is a realm of operation of demonic substances. See, let me tell you something. Fire is a big mystery. Big mystery. You can't hold it. It doesn't fear anything, but it consumes everything that come ar comes around it. Hallelujah. Fire. 
Very important. Even the world will be judged with fire. The first judgment was with water. The second judgment will be with fire. Hallelujah. Number what now? Four? Number what? Five. I'm going to give it to you now. The fifth one is the earth. Dust. Earth. Adam. Look at me. How many of you have seen people in your village get angry and they carried sand and spoke to it and dropped it back? Or like the Igbo people do when they take small drink, they pour small on the ground and say to our ancestors, hmm. What is it about the earth? The prophet looked and said, Oh earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. That means the earth is not non-living like we teach in biology. It was in the days of Moses. The Bible says the people rebelled against God and the earth opened its mouth. It has mouth. It swallowed them. Till tomorrow we cannot find them. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? These are jurisdictions of operation. That's why priests and the rest put their shrines on the ground and then they sit down even if you give them one million they won't go and build a luxurious house that earth they must associate themselves with the earth hallelujah these levels this medium these realms of operation every manifestation every single medium of manifestation let me give you one more are you ready human beings human vessels as far as satan is concerned this is the best medium of manifestation why because every other thing i've listed does not have a will they don't have willpower as it were are you getting me and they don't have souls only human beings have souls please are you learning something So Satan entered the madman. Remember the madman in Gadara. Do you know that the entire spirits across those territories, they were resident in that man. He stayed in caves. He was alone. He caught himself. But the moment Jesus was coming, without any publicity, he came out and went to wait close to the water and was waiting for Jesus to arrive. Immediately Jesus arrived, he began to talk to him. He said, we know who you are. Have you come to destroy us before our time? What time? What time did Satan teach them? Let me tell you something about the powers of darkness that you must understand. When they say their time has not come, what that means is this. Listen. You cannot seize their operation from the earth, but you can seize their operation from your territory. Are you getting this? Please understand this. That's why we can't all sit down right now and say, Satan, leave the whole world. Go to Venus or Mars. Relocate there. After all, it's empty. Go and build a new kingdom. Leave us in peace. So says the apostles and the prophets. No, you can't do that. What you can do, even Jesus, while he was on earth, he didn't cast Satan out of everywhere. Wherever he met with him, he told him, Mr. Man, go. Listen, Jesus himself answered one request of demons. They said, please cast us to the pigs. What did he say? In other words, he knew that as far as exiting this realm is concerned, they are not going to leave. What we can do, are you getting my point? So that there are certain prayers we will stop praying at once. Are you getting my point? Many people pray and what they mean by their prayer is to tell the devil, bye-bye, pack your load and go. Let me not see you and don't even go. Have you had that prayer? I cast you into Gehenna. Have you had that kind of prayer? Don't come out again. Uh, is that really an accurate prayer? No, no, don't feel bad. Believe me. 
with the kind of prayerful people on earth, if that prayer were answerable by now, there would have been some clear air that shows that sufficient demons have gone down to Gehenna. Gehenna is called the place of the dead. Are you getting my point? Listen, he said resist the devil. There are people that pray all kinds of prayers. Oh, we cast you and we lock you up across a forest. Just stay there. Those kinds of prayers are not accurate prayers. Please, please listen. Don't be offended if you are used to praying those kinds of prayer. But I want you to know that we cannot cast Satan and demons out of the earth. We can only secure our territory. Are you getting my point? Because the Bible says Satan is like a roaring lion. He's like that. He moves to and fro. Praise the Lord. Say I'm learning something. Water. Wind. The atmosphere. I just want you to know that these are operations of darkness. Every time a native doctor or a herbalist wants to do certain things, one or more of these elements must be in place. Yet, these are the same elements that the Holy Spirit associates himself with. What does that tell you? Discrediting God. You see that? Thank you, Jesus. Let's touch on weapons of victory. I'll just use one and then we'll stop. Where? What's the time? Oh, there's time. Praise God. Don't look at the time. Look at me. The clock is not preaching to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, before we talk of the weapons of victory, let me just speak very quickly on the strategies of Satan. The strategies. The strategies. This is, I think this is the one that is very important. Strategies. There are three main strategies from scripture. They will not change. This is the one you can bank on. They will not change. Do not be ignorant of the devil's stratomai, his strategy, his way of doing things. It can come in different forms, but it is one of these three. Number one, I shared it last week, ignorance. 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 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. Ignorance. Are you there? Okay, I thought it was projected. Let me turn there. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. In whom the God of this world. Okay. 2 Corinthians 4. Not Chronicles. Sorry. 2 Corinthians. No problem. Let's continue. In whom the God of this world or this age. The word age there is aeon. In whom the God of this system. The thinking pattern of this system. Has blinded the minds of them who believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Who is the image of God should shine upon them. Is that in your Bible? It says Satan did what? Blinded their minds. Everybody say ignorance. The number one and hear me. As sophisticated as Satan looks. His greatest strategy is to maintain ignorance in the lives of believers or across territory. Say ignorance. Notice, every manifestation of wickedness in the earth realm has been strengthened by the ignorance of the people. Because the moment they know, they will revolt until victory comes. Every bad government in the world has been able to execute its agenda by enforcing ignorance. Are you getting that? That's the spirit of the power of darkness. Say ignorance. Ignorance. Now, come. Any other guy again? Come. I need two gentlemen. Stand here, stand here. I want to explain something. 
stand here, stand here. Now, please, everybody, look at me. I want you to understand this, and I pray you get this revelation in Jesus' name. There are two sides to the understanding of the kingdom. Please don't forget. There are what? Two sides. The first is understanding the person of Jesus Christ. The person of Jesus Christ. The second is the principles of Jesus Christ. And that's what we call the principles of the kingdom. Is that true? Are you following me please? So the person of Jesus Christ. When you come under the lordship of Jesus Christ. When you surrender to Jesus Christ. You have embraced his person. But that does not automatically mean that you have knowledge of the principles of the kingdom. Are you getting my point? The person of Jesus Christ secures your eternal destiny and secures your peace. The principles of Jesus Christ secure your victory in this earth realm. So there are many well-meaning believers who know the person of Jesus Christ in terms of their loyalty to him. But they lack sufficient understanding of kingdom principles. Are you getting my point? For instance, there are many well-meaning Christians who are poor and broke and they may remain like that forever. And they believe that just by being close to Jesus Christ, automatically prosperity comes. No, there, there is a kingdom principle that governs it. Is that true? There are many people, although they are close to God, many people hate them because the kingdom principle for access is honor. Are you getting my point now? So whether you are a Christian or not, when you dishonor people, you will never have access. Are you getting my point? So there is ignorance. What Satan tries to do is to take this first level of ignorance to stop you from seeing the light of the gospel to come to Jesus Christ in the first place. But if he does not succeed and by any means you surrender your heart to Jesus Christ, this becomes the second phase of the ignorance. He stops you. Are you getting my point now? So there are many well-meaning Christians who the devil has lost it on them as far as the person of Jesus is concerned. But he has shielded them from understanding the principles of the kingdom. That's why when somebody gets born again, the next mission is to subject him under a radical teaching ministry where the principles of the kingdom will be taught and then he will understand. This is what spiritual growth is about. Growing in intimacy. This is why we call koinonia intimacy and partnership. Intimacy is our knowledge as we progress deeper to know God. Partnership is our working with the word and with the spirit. Are you getting my point now? Do you understand this, this explanation I've given you? Because the greatest tool that Satan uses his number one strategy is what? Ignorance. So, an unbeliever comes. How many of you have seen a lot of unbelievers who understand Bible verses? They understand a lot of Bible verses. You say something, they ask you, they say, okay, let's turn to the book of Matthew. I have this and that. And the next thing, they will not accept the simplicity of the gospel. Are you getting me? To surrender to Jesus Christ. Then, when... They eventually surrender. The devil makes them feel that there is nothing more in the kingdom. So they remain in church and they think remaining in church is equal to spiritual growth. So eventually they tell you, I've been here 20 years. And based on that, there is nothing you will tell me. Ignorance of the principles. Are you getting my point? This is the deliverance that is happening to some of you right now. Because you are born again. But you don't know why things are not moving the way the word says should be. Could it be that you do not yet have the comprehension? Paul himself prayed in Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17. To the Ephesian church who were already born again. He said for this cause I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The father of glory that he may grant unto you the spirit of what? Wisdom. And understanding or revelation the eyes of your understanding being enlightened flooded with light that ye may know so the bible tells us 
that according as his divine power has given us what? All things. But those all things are encapsulated in knowledge. When you have access to the principles, the door opens up to you at once. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. What is possible for me, although we are all equal in Christ, but our comprehension of kingdom principles have created the divide. So I can speak to a demon spirit and say, go, and he will go. Not because my born again is greater than your own, but my, I have a greater comprehension. Two students in the same class, taught by the same teacher, one gets 100, one gets 50. Are you seeing that now? It is the degree of their comprehension. It is because of that that some will be a 30-fold, some will be a 60-fold, and some will be a what? They all produced. But according, the Bible says those who were on good soil were the ones who had and understood. But the difference was their degree of understanding. Are you following me now? Say the person of Jesus. Say the principles of Jesus. Say the person of Jesus. Say the principles of the kingdom. The question I want to ask you is, how many principles of the kingdom do you know? This is the measure. See, listen. Listen, this is very important. Healing, for instance. Healing comes from the body of Jesus. By his stripes, we are healed. Are you seeing that? Favor does not just happen automatically. So when you understand the laws of the spirit, then you will know how to navigate through life. So whenever you, you see a roadblock, you go back and search out diligently what kingdom principle is responsible for the result you are looking for. Because if God did it, then it is possible. It is only the light that will open the door. So arise and shine. Not because you want to arise. Your light, access. When that revelation comes and you understand it, the door is opened at once. If you understand what I'm teaching right now, it's automatic. You don't need to pray about it. That's why, see, the Bible says while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was moving around, waiting for those who will understand and believe so that at once it will be activated. While Peter yet spake these things, the Holy Ghost fell on them because they understood and they believed immediately. Are you getting the point now? So when the word of God returns to him, it's because he did not find a believer. Praise the Lord. Are you getting me? Bless you. Bless you. Weapons of victory. Let me just take one. The name of Jesus. Hmm. I will share a revelation about the name. There are many weapons of victory. Maybe let me just run through a few of them. The name of Jesus. The mystery of the blood of Jesus. Listen. The power of praise. The power of a seed. I'm going to teach you the weapon, spiritual arsenals. That will lock the hands of Satan at once. The power of prayer. Hallelujah. The power of unity. The power of love. All of these are dangerous spiritual weapons. That will keep Satan where he belongs. Is this teaching benefiting you? Are you getting something? So I'll just take on one of them. The power of the name of Jesus. We'll sing that song. There is power. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We'll sing that song one more time. To the shame of the devil. And then we'll just pray. Just pray in tongues for a minute or two. And then you sit down. I'm about to give you a revelation that will set you on fire. Shabakata labaka presekate baladadada. Shem breda baladadada. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. 
Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Sing it one more time. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Can you stretch in tongues for just one minute? Zakata bakata preketa. Mabrosote kata balada bakata. Shapata la bakata. Mabrosote kata balada bakata. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power. There is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Take your Bibles. Let me have your attention. Lord, let our eyes be open. Show us something powerful. Let me tell you something. There are many of you, if you catch this revelation tonight, you will be amazed. This name will work for you. Years ago, I called this name, oh, nothing happened. I shouted Jesus. I said it like a special number. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Open our eyes, oh God. I show you a mystery right now. Mark 16. Break every chain. There are some chains that need to be broken. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Verse 15. Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Take my value system to every creature. He said, he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believe, believe not shall be damned. 17, if you are a believer, please read it. One, to read, is projected. Stop. Stop. This sign shall follow them that believe. They will do certain things when they have a revelation of my name. He said, in my name, they will do what? It tells you all the things that can be possible in the name. In my name, they shall, number one. Number two. Number three. They shall take up what? Hold on. What is the meaning of that? What is they shall take up serpents? What is the meaning of they shall take up serpents? I will soon explain it to you. Because Jesus told Moses... I mean, God told Moses, remember, he said, take the serpent from the tail. I will show you what that means. They shall take up serpents. It doesn't just mean carry a physical snake. Remember at the burning bush, when Moses met with God, I, you remember, are you getting my point? He threw the rod. Is that not true? And he told him to take it, to hold it by the tail. Is it not in your Bible? I will show you what that means. To take up serpents. It's a revelation. It's a revelation. I will show you a scripture that says the horn in a man's body is on his hands. A horn is a symbol of power. Are you getting my point? So he said with that horn, you will take up serpents. It's a mystery. I will explain. He said in my name that will happen. He said and if they drink any deadly thing, that means if they move in my name, no poison will harm them. So long as it is in my name. 
He said they shall lay hands. I will show you the mystery of the laying on of hands. It's not just about touching people. The horn in a man's body is his hands. The apostle said that you will stretch forth your mighty hands. The right hand of God, the Bible says, is the hand of power. Not his right leg. He said they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Listen, I want to explain to you the mystery of the name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, if I call you, come. Benga. The first revelation of the name of a man is it invites his presence. When you invoke the name of a man, his presence is encapsulated in his name. Are you seeing this? I called his name and what happened? His presence showed up. So the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming their words with signs. It happened because a personality was answering to his name. So they went in the name. This is what it means to come in the name of the Lord. To come with the backing, the presence of God. Weapons of victory that can kick any satanic arsenal out of your life. Hallelujah. Watch this. I called his name. And he confirmed that that name is true. The name of a man is his identity. Every time, see, listen, listen. That's why when God met certain people, he changed their names. Because the name of a man represents the prophecy of his life. It represents his ability. It represents the prophecy upon his life. When he met Jacob, he said, no, you are not a cheat and a supplanter. As a prince with God, you have fought and prevailed. I changed your name to Israel. And the prophecy started following him. The mother of Jabez bore him in sorrow. And all through his life, the name was following him. Name follows people. A name is a spirit. It's a presence. And Jabez said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Change my name. Hallelujah. Are you getting the revelation now? So the first revelation is that the name of Jesus compels his presence to show up in that scene. Listen. Now you understand what Paul was saying. Say not in your heart who will ascend to heaven and bring God or who will go to the deep he said but the word is near you even in your mouth that means when it is uttered with revelation the presence shows up no time no distance are you getting my point this is a very very powerful revelation very powerful revelation you must believe this let me demonstrate something take this hold it this is ordinary handkerchief who brought this handkerchief are you seeing this? This is an ordinary handkerchief. He's holding it, right? Give it back to me. Watch the power of the name. This is not just for jamboree. Thank you, Jesus, in your name. Hold this. Hold it. What is the difference? He just held this. Is it not so? He held this. He held this. You see the power of God there breaking out again. See, this is a revelation. This is why saying in Jesus' name is not what will bring the miracle. There is a revelation. This is what I want you to know. It will rattle from the realm of the spirit and it will affect you in this realm. This is a handkerchief he held. That's why I did it in your presence. It's the name. Say not in your heart who will go and bring him from heaven. He is closer to you. This is what koinonia is about. The reality of a personality that can be demonstrated here and now. Paul said we do not teach cunningly devised fables. These are not just stories that cannot be proven. Unbelief. So you can be, listen, you can say Jesus, Jesus, nothing will happen. The next thing I want you to know is, what is really this name? Let's examine it. What is the name? We have said what the name can do, but what is the name? Look up, please. I want to shock you. 
Listen. The name is not Jesus. You see where people have been missing it? This is a hospital. There's surgery going on right now. The name is not Jesus. He said in my name. He didn't write the name there. He just said if you can find what that name is. What is the name? The name is not J-E-S-U-S. Listen. The Bible says Isaiah speaking. He said you shall bear a son. They shall call him what? Emmanuel. Did they ever call Jesus Emmanuel? But the prophet said that will be his name. The name was a revelation that God is with us. Is that true? He said they shall call him Emmanuel. Nobody ever called Jesus Emmanuel. Jesus was a name that was given to him in the earth realm. There are Mexicans that bear Jesus today. In fact, in Hebrew tongue and Aramaic, it's not Jesus. It's Jesus. That's what they call it. So it's not in the pronunciation. It's not in J-E-S-U-S. Before we pray, tonight, once and for all, I want to reveal to you what this name is. In my name, Kaya Zata Kabarata Makapakata Teketa Tadeka Zekapata Beka Mambrosko Beka Talia Baba 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 Zeke Proska Bariata Sokotopa Sopadiata Embeketeka Basoteka Rento Sopakata Sekete Legate in the name I come 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 in the name Get this revelation tonight. Get it. And rise to a new level. Get it. And rise to a new realm. A new dimension. You don't have to set it. The real is here. The authentic is here. Listen. Listen. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. I want to explain something to you. Listen. Many of you think that it is an act of arrogance when I tell you all men are not equal. We are equal in Christ, but something has separated people. The Bible says there are some bodies terrestrial, some celestial. Not everybody you see is the same. It's not pride. This is why we are bringing us higher. I tell you the truth, you will shake hell this is how you will live as if Satan does not exist. You are coming in the name. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2. Zeka kapata katabalada bakate basle. Zende brato shalamai. God doesn't care whether it's Koinonia or anywhere. Anywhere his name is mentioned, he shows up. He doesn't want to know whether you are playing or you are taking it serious. It's a law. When you invoke it, he shows up. Because every man answers his name. Only a dead man does not answer his name. Oh, I believe the Bible. There is an angel standing close to this lady. Breakthroughs are already happening. Deliverances are happening. Believe it. Deliverances are happening. I hear the chains falling. Strongholds. I hear the chains falling. I command every chain. Fall. I give the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I give the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I command every chain fall. I command.
Uganda big activity Hope to until now Every sickness go Every infirmity go Go, go Every yoke Every disease I hear the chain I hear the chain Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Let me show you something that will surprise you. Hallelujah. Sam, come. Watch this. Father, let the sounds rise in your name. Watch what will happen as he sings. Just raise any song and sing. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. And let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Let hope rise. Was the same person that ministered the same person that seemed many of you do not understand the power in the name Jesus didn't lie to us believe me that name is powerful that name is powerful every demon and every spirit just a symbol in this place right now every foul devil at the count of three i come in the name go 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 every spirit every demon every devil i command you in the name go out out you will not return again go go He said in his name, we will cast out demons. I cast out demons now in that name. Go, go, go. I take a baba baba baba. Cabra. So proto so prekete. Every problem you have come here with tonight, yeah. it leaves you here now. Yeah. Every problem you came here with, I yeah. don't care what it is. In the name, yeah. in the name, it will bow now. Yeah. Every problem, yeah. every problem, every yeah. challenge, health, yeah. finance. Jesus. Please sit 
now if you can we have to finish this please sit down sit down sit down if you can if they can't sit down just leave them please we have to hurry up I'm teaching you this because God is depending on you. The goal is not to watch a man of God do this. The goal is to show you that this is a possibility here and now. Take that name. Go and dislodge powers in your house. Let the people of God know that your coming for koinonia is not just a religion. Without a demonstration of the kingdom, they will doubt you. Go and change the things they say cannot be changed. See, you don't need to care how it will happen. Just go in the name. Just go in the name. Philippians chapter 2. Let me reveal to you what that name is. That's why I told us to pray in tongues. Something special, supernatural, about the name Jesus. Something happens when I mention your name. Listen. God gave us power to solve problems. If you are not interested in solving problems, you will never get the power of the Holy Spirit. Solve problems. Philippians chapter 2. Let's hurry up. There are many weapons of victory. But I'll talk on one. Philippians chapter 2. Let's take it from verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Verse 9. Wherefore, Kabbalataya, God had so highly exalted him. Stop. I taught us last week that until Jesus died and rose again, he was not yet exalted. Is that true? Listen, I want to surprise you. The name was not yet given to man officially until he was coronated. Are you getting me? Because as it were, when Jesus was on the earth, his name was limited. Why was it limited? Because he was a man and he had not defeated death. So the last enemy to be destroyed, death, still had power over him. Are you getting my point? This is the reason, listen please. This is the reason why when he sent the 70, he begged them not to go to certain places because the power would not work there. But when he resurrected, remember Mary wanted to touch him. And he said, no, don't touch me. You will corrupt a coronation that is about to take place. This is what the psalmist saw. And he said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit down thou at my that was the coronation service of jesus the moment that happened he returned to earth and he said all hail now all power has been given go therefore no boundaries no limitations you just go anywhere it will work because a coronation had happened are you getting the point now so he begins to give us by revelation paul said wherefore God exalted him and gave him that means before then it had not been given he gave him a name 
what is this name that we have been looking for he said which is above every other name verse 10 whatever that name is whenever that name of jesus he said at the name of jesus the name is not jesus every knee should bow at the name that was given to this person called jesus you get my point every knee should bow of things in heaven and of things in the earth and of things under the earth ready for the name let me show you 11 and every tongue should confess that that jesus christ has now received a name that is called lord that's the name that's the name that was given to him look at it that's the name lord psalm 24 quickly psalm 24 Psalm 24, verse 1. Psalm 24, verse 1. Are you there? Everybody read one to go. Stop. Did he say the earth belongs to God? Do you know what Lord is? Lord means master. Lord means owner. Ma Lord means authorized legislator. Authorized. So the earth belongs to whoever will bear this name called Lord. The name was reserved. No one had taken the name yet. When Jesus defeated death, God said you now qualify. Take the name. So you now become the literal possessor of the earth. Are you getting me now? The earth is the Lord's. So the Bible says, if you want the name, here is the condition. The name is upon a mountain, but who shall ascend to that hill and who shall stand in his holy place? This is the requirement. He that has clean hands and a pure heart, no man qualified to ascend that hill. But Jesus was as a man tempted like us, yet without sin. So he ascended the mountain. That's why the Bible says, before he led captivity captive, he first ascended, he descended. After that, he ascended. He took the name and he came back and he entered the room without the door. And he said, all hail, all authority has been given to me. Listen, this is what Jesus said. Listen, he said, whoever believes in me, I will give the privilege to share my name. You get the point that name lord so just like me he will become an authorized legislator so in my name he will cast out devils so that it will not make any difference whether it was jesus speaking physically or you or a handkerchief whatever comes in the name brings the presence of jesus directly that's why whether you speak english or hausa or greek demons don't hear those things they didn't speak english in bible days all you need to do is come in the name so handkerchiefs and aprons were taken handkerchiefs and aprons they contacted the name lord it says and the fullness thereof the world and all day that dwell therein listen 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 please the lordship of jesus is the revelation that when you come under you have carried the name it's not jesus it is a revelation that this man god has made him both lord and christ he's not just the anointed but he has become the owner are you listening to me so if i look at this sister for instance i come in the name because she belongs to god i have the authority to cast out whatever is molesting her because i come in the name are you getting the revelation hold on many people think it is j-e-s-u-s -S. do you know why we shout jesus we want unbelievers to know that the owner of that name is jesus 
Are you getting my point? When you tell demons, go, is go, J-E-S-U-S, is go, L-O-R-D, they search in the spirit to see whether you have the revelation of that name. Once you have it, they will obey you. So after this night, you will go back home in the name. Many of you, you will go and look for what you left and say, where is it? And it will say, I left. Because the person who left was not the person who came back. You came in the name. Remember, there was a certain time, even the disciples could not cast out devils from the epileptic patient because they did not have the name. They thought it was just Jesus doing a lot of things. Now, when they had the name, Peter was angry in Acts 3. He says, now it's my time to shine. He saw the man who was lame. And the Bible says, it says, silver and gold I don't have, but I have something. You can know you have something. He said, this is what I have. In the name, you see that? That was his treasure. He said, this one, no man can take it from me. I may not have silver and gold, but I have something that can solve your problem. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up. The man was still looking at him. And Peter said, you don't know the power of the name I'm invoking. He held him and the Bible says he leaping stood. Son of man, he said, can these dry bones live? He said, I don't know. He said, all right, now you prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. That's the secret. When God gives you his name, he has authorized you to legislate on his behalf. As many as received him, he gave them power. The power is not falling and rolling on the floor. The power is the ability to share in his lordship. Hallelujah. This is what makes ordinary men to become something else. So that you see an ordinary man moving. But you don't try him when he calls on a government that is bigger than you. You see that? We are going to pray. I've been hearing that there are many people that molest people on their way home. We are going to pray. Let me tell you the truth. I pity the next person that would try to molest anybody here. It's the name. It's the name. Listen. Please, I want you to believe this. Believe this. Years ago, they stole my laptop. Thieves came to our house. We were all sleeping. They just carried the laptop. And my brothers were running to chase them. And honestly, when I got up, I just had commotion and I was laughing. My own was not that I lost. That I was just laughing. I said, oh, God, I love you. If my laptop doesn't return, give me money to buy another one. And an angel appeared before me and he just did this. And that was the end of it. Seven hours later, the laptop was back on my table. Hallelujah. Some people from nowhere mobilized themselves and made up their mind to look for the thief. They went and caught him in prison. I was busy counseling. The name, see, the name of Jesus is powerful. Don't let secular humanism or the things that, you, that did not work for you before make you think it does not work. Are you getting me? You say, ah, but I use the name. I told you they stole my wallet. My, the wallet didn't come back. But that does not ever mean that the name is not powerful. This is the problem with a lot of people. We are too, our, our faith is too small. The moment something does not happen, we just conclude. This thing doesn't work. You think so? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me stop here. We'll continue next week. Rise up. I feel the spirit of prayer. Hold your hands together. Come, take a take a bakaya. So top prakata take a prakata prakate. Hold your hands and pray in the spirit just for five minutes. Please, all the instruments coming. Pray in tongues. Shake that up, shake it, 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 shake
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very quickly, we'll take three prayer points. Number one, listen. Let me tell you why this name does not work for many people. There is a little secret in the Bible that many of us ignore. The secret to resisting the devil. The Bible says, submit to the mighty hand of God. Submit. Your degree of submission is your degree to which his authority will flow. Many of us have not yet submitted to the Lordship. You have given your heart to the Lord. That's true. But you have not come under his influence. Tonight, you are going to pray and say, Lord, I willingly submit to your authority, to your government. Pray and watch the wonder. Watch the wonder of what you begin to happen in your life. Inside and outside, make sure you are praying. Lord, I submit to your governing influence. Lord, I submit to your mighty hand. I submit. I submit. Lord, I submit. Every listen the centurion surprised jesus christ he gave jesus a revelation that touched him the, jesus said let's go to your house he said no you don't need to go for i am a man under authority i'm under the authority of the roman government and by reason of being under that authority i tell one go and he will go i'll tell the other come and jesus said what i've not seen this kind of faith this kind of revelation in israel submit yourself to the mighty hand of god then resist the devil hallelujah 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 in the next five minutes i like you i don't know how you are going to pray leave your hands praise god i know we are men of prayer listen you have been confronting darkness but you try it now in the name you you see the revelation david met goliath he said you come to me with your spares but i come to you in a name in a name you come to me with bow and arrow i mean i may be small but there is a name an office i invoke the power of an office hallelujah praise god is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what the lord is asking you tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am what is it that he cannot do is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am the god of wonders 
that can change situations. That is too hard for me to do. I am better. Hallelujah. Now listen. The issues that have been affecting your life and your family in the next five minutes, tell it I confront you in the name that sickness in the name. Come on, prayer warriors. Come on, prayer warriors. Shake it, take 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 the situation in my family is changing. Is changing. Is changing. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command healing. I command miracles. Hey, Command your marriage. Command your prayer life. Come alive. Hey, Confront your unemployment issue. Confront your business. Confront your family. I come in the name. I come in the name. I come in the name. Set and get lost. The Lord rebuke you. 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 Let change fall. Let miracles occur. Let testimonies occur. Lord, I release breakthrough. 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 In every family. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Please listen. We are going to pray. And this night, you are going to say, I take my eyes away from every challenge. Whatever the devil has used to discredit God in my life. Are you hearing me? There are many of us that cannot trust God because of the things that have happened or the things that are happening the bible says abraham wavered not at his faith through unbelief he considered not the deadness of sarah's womb although she was close to a hundred years he counted him faithful faithful god cannot lie satan can be tired your faith can weary the devil listen Right now, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to prophesy and say, I take my eyes away. I don't care what is not working or what is working. God, you are faithful and your word must ah, come to pass. You are not a man. Come on, lift your faith. Lift your voice and pray. Provoke faith. I'm a believer. I believe the word. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word will not fail. The word will not fail. Pray. 
let us say Christ in my spirit. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. His promises are yea and amen. Pray. That sickness will leave. That oppression will leave. That failure will fall. The marriage will come. The job will come. The building will be completed. Your spiritual life will grow. Your prayer life will grow. The habit will die. The marriage will work. Pray. Yes, Lord. We are men of faith. We are a faithful generation. Koinonia is a place of faith. We are a trust in the Lord. Shall be like Mount Zion. Thou cannot be shaken, but abide there forevermore. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Hallelujah. It is finished. I like you to prophesy. It is finished. Affliction is finished. Cancer is finished. HIV is finished. Demonic oppression is finished. That's what the Bible says. Listen, you must announce to principalities and powers that I'm born again. The blood of Jesus has made way. You are an illegal occupant. And by faith and the authority of the Lord, I will now enforce that which has been finished on the cross. This is the legal basis of victory. It's not just because you fasted or prayed. Fasting does not change God. It changes you. It's faith that moves God. I fast and pray, but your fasting doesn't do anything to God. It positions you to release your faith for results. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The legal basis is that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Not just that the blood of Cain and Abel, but every other ordinance. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to the cross. It's passed. But Satan will refuse until you enforce it by the authority of the Lord Jesus. And this is our job tonight. We have not come to do any new thing. This is what I want to teach you. There's nothing tonight that we are doing that is new. We are only going back to tap the reality from Calvary and make it a present tense reality. This is the Balas gospel of redemption. And one of the greatest persons that has affected my life is the general of God. I cried when he went to be with the Lord. T.L. Osborne. He was one man that demonstrated the reality of the kingdom more than any man I know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Joblessness, barrenness, delay, stagnation, mental blockage, sicknesses, you name it. We now know the devil that is in charge. But the Bible says for this purpose, God organized Koinonia meeting tonight for this purpose that he will annihilate I vowed unto God, I said, I will never pastor or lead any ministry where there is no demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness. I won't come and teach people about the God who was and say, I remember in 2001, somebody was healed. What is he doing today? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the same January miracle service. The same February miracle service. I bring you good news tonight. The Lord is in the house. And he's here with his full authority. And how nice it is that today is Good Friday. He went about doing good on a Good Friday. He went about doing... Today is not called Bad Friday. It's called Good Friday. Rise up on your feet. And let's charge ourselves in the spirit. For a few minutes. Walk around in the next five minutes. 
and begin to prophesy inside and outside. Come on. Come on, walk round and begin to declare. Satan is behind every sickness, every infirmity. Satan is behind poverty. He's behind delays. But today, by the finished work that is in the name of the Lord Jesus, there will be victory tonight. Rapa kata la basata, ma prakata pragedeba, rapata prakese pragede, rakata baladaba. Make sure you're praying. Rapo sho prakete lekoto. Hallelujah. Now listen, those of you inside and outside, we just have one minute to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. You're going to say, you're going to pray for yourself and your family, and say, Satan. Now I know you are responsible and you are going to get out of my life, my family, my finance, my marriage. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You appear as terminal disease, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as delay, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as barrenness, but you are a devil of darkness, joblessness. Whatever tree has not been planted by our Father, that tree will be uprooted. Pray. Say tonight is my night of deliverance. Is my night of healing. Is my night of emancipation. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. Everyone look up. So, through territorial influences, Satan can gain grounds over a man's life, although he's born again. The second way Satan gets to influence people is through what I call strongholds of the mind. That's why the Bible says the moment you get born again, the next assignment is to begin to renew your mind because look at me your mindset is like a door in the realm of the spirit it can allow the activities of heaven it can allow the activities of demons are you listening to me so because of wrong teachings or our society we have had mindsets that have become strongholds permanent gateways so even when you pray and minister healing and deliverance what happens the bible says when a demon leaves a man because it is now it does not have a material body to find expression it becomes uneasy after a while what happens it says since i've been legally casted let me now use the mind and it comes back to check the man he finds the house swept clean but empty you have not filled yourself with the word and it gathers seven other demons more than itself and it comes back to the man listen this is the problem I have with many deliverance houses. They don't concentrate on people getting born again. They don't concentrate on people receiving the word. They just concentrate on casting out devils. So they now cast out devils. Are you listening to me? In a lady who probably does not believe that sex before marriage is wrong. That's a mindset. It has become a stronghold. Is that correct? So the demons will leave. But her mindset will bring them back. Listen. When believers are set free, they must keep their healing. They must keep their breakthrough by doing what? Building fortification. That's why we spend three weeks teaching the word. So that when you are set free, when you are delivered, what happened? The word of God builds fortification in you. That kind of mindset deliverance is by the word. So he sends forth his word. And his word heals your mind and delivers you. It's not enough just to come for miracle service. It's important to participate in all of the services. Because as we teach what happens, you build fortification in the spirit. Then you get to a point like Jesus where Satan will come and will not find anything of himself. Then you now become a deliverer to others. He said upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the children of Jacob shall possess their possession but not until there is a deliverance upon mount zion 
there shall be deliverance and a spirit of holiness and then what happens people will begin to possess their possessions tonight satan will return some things he stole ah because the bible says when you catch a thief it's in leviticus when you catch a thief he will say i'm sorry no they didn't hear i'm sorry he will restore sevenfold sevenfold is the minimum hallelujah how many of us are ready to take back some things i'm reaping the harvest god promised me take back what the devil stole from me and i rejoice today for i shall recover it all yes i rejoice today hallelujah now before i begin to minister in the anointing we're going to pray one prayer i want you to be honest and open tonight listen listen we're a family I truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free. Listen, you're going to say, Lord, if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life, listen, or my family, I open myself tonight. Let tonight be a separation between me and Egypt forever. I must move forward. You must humble yourself and pray. Are you listening to me? Open your mouth and pray, everyone. Those outside, pray. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. Tapara tapara taya. Time up, Satan, over the lives and the destinies of people. We announce an expiry date for you, which is right now. Tonight is Good Friday. Over our lives, Jesus said it is finished. We believe it. Jesus said it is finished. Oh, hallelujah, he's really I'm excited, I'm excited Someone is walking free tonight I tell you, a door is open tonight Pray Pray Yes Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. For the spirit of the Lord is king. Spirit has go away. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw, oh yes, oh yes, gates will be lifted. Ancient doors, inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata Prosata Libariata. 
I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen, just one shout. I like you to shout it with all your heart. I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together in the Hebrew, we call this Tehillah. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three. One, two, three. inside and outside now according to the unction and he gave us power i speak to you inside outside territorial spirit i confront you at the count of three you will go you will go i see a mighty deliverance in this row one two three go 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 Go, 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 go. Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord, 
be exposed now be exposed now be exposed the fire of the Lord outside the fire of his presence be exposed outside no demon stands every affliction go outside outside Outside, the power of God is falling. Outside, the power of God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the crowd. Come out of her. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you, fire upon you. Come out of her now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go, 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 go. Out of her right now, out of her, out of her. Come out, come out of her, come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her. Come out of her now. Thou foul devil. I see a snake. Out of her. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Come out of her. Affect my life. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Kabara tabaka ta. Seke te preke te ke te beleri ba. Rekoto preke te beleri ba. your life come out come out come out come out of her come out now take her inside come out of her in the name of Jesus listen your destiny must open up are you listening to me I said your destiny must open up therefore every power I speak by an apostolic unction every demonic force you're going to shout Jesus once and the power of God will move across my god let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three come out 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 come 
Bring them in. Bring this girl. Bring that ladies. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out. Now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at it. Hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. 
Since he will not come, hello, I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person? One ear, you feel like there's water or something. Please, who is that inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly. You, which of them? It will be open right now. Put your hands there. As I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now. You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go! Go! I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, Mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before, I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something. Uh, Waka inside. But now, not. Look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes. This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had moms. So it affected she had what? Moms on her left ear. Moms. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. of the Lord Jesus. Your reign is gone in the name of Jesus. Someone test her. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. You will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing. And perfection. In the name of Jesus. Now. All those with any heart conditions. All those with any heart conditions. Heart condition of whatever kind. 
please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in a bit. And... Hard condi. Okay. Your ear. Both of them. Both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Thou foul devil. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please, let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please, can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want you to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain here. Come. Hold on, hold on. I pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhist sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet's songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Com Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? What happened, but the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Come. My sister. Who is Necker? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happened? You used to pain you. What do you mean you used to pain you? Last time. Now sharp pain always. Sharp pain? Yes. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You're free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go. You see something forming like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. 
the life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now. Come. She's free. Yes. Madam, what's wrong with you? My two brothers. Your two brothers. Uh, they, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no. hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for t- ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and we'll start ministering to people in mass. What's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? What the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? Anytime I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. This is a very nice girl. Oh. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. Kaparata <laughs> kaparata balatapai. Krepete keposh. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. 
Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way and build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Look at me. You are not free yet. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you are free. Leave her. You are free. She is free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart. Bro. you must leave. You've tormented this girl for a long time. Out of her right now. In Jesus name. You must go out. Come out. Your exodus out of her life. With a loud shout. I instruct you to leave now. At the count of three. One. Two. Three. Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. for altar call before I finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what I'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go I see you in the spirit go come out of her be silent speak no word go out What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free.
You're free now. In Jesus' name. Levi. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. See like claws holding this lady. Now go in peace, and I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what did you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, what happened? Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. You started by yourself. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. What? Hepatitis. Hepatitis. B. C. 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 Yes, sir. Who diagnosed it? In the hospital. You'll be free from it. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Shepa Karata Poko Sofre Teke Balata Bonda. Mabrati Kapos Kosi Behishti. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh yeah. Sir King Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of none effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, 
look at my eyes. Salama. 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 Very pretty lady. Wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three. Quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> three. Or I go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. This is a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say a terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything. When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We're still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we're going to minister. We'll have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have your water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead. Touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord... Go. 
in Jesus name for how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way how can you when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the way are these the only sick people please every other sick person come and join them quickly while that is happening pass your prayer requests quickly outside please pass it to the last person at the side let's do that quickly all the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleep. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, Sass. Quickly, please come and stand here. Get said to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You, come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Now, go, you're free. Next, please quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Kaparata kaparede go shatavalia. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out, leave her. Go, go. Set her free right now. Go, go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out, you're a wicked spirit. Come out, I've seen you. Out. You said she will not marry, she wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please, quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh
your deliverance come your salvation has come it's your time to smile run and come I say run look at what she's doing but those of restoration and prosperity. You have cried. 
This lady loves the Lord, but she has suffered. You have seen, you have suffered. Aha. I'm seeing a cake, and it's a wedding cake. This is what the Lord shows me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I release you into this person. Where's the lady I asked her to come? Where's the lady? Sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Request, please bring them out quickly. If you didn't write those on Facebook and all our members, please, if you cannot have it, no problem. Hold on. There are two ladies. Please don't be ashamed. Okay? The Lord asked me to call out the case. Don't be ashamed. Okay, three people. You are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no okay. You are suffering from this is a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding, and this is uh, please. We are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why. We're a family of faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference. It's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her back for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. expose you foul spirit of darkness now but wetting stops forever it's a spirit she has a dream this is i'm seeing the dream that this lady has now she has a dream they are pouring water and she's standing there later the water becomes a bathroom and she wakes up and sees you will look and think she's an irresponsible lady some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place you like talking about people See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right. When you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells and is doing wonders. Sister, I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. I'm speaking to you. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Aha! Come out of her! Now, I've seen you. Come out of her. Foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we're a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see, out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a ban. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You are a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha. Out! Come out of her right now. You are a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Krento Satilaka Repatarita Rabaka Batoso Pregete Rekata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit. Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands with both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. A good usher, so you will feel. Come out of her, out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch from today. Just look at it. This is demonic, this is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that he may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said, it is the thief that comes to steal to kill and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. This is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can wake up. All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. seen you in the spirit. Hapa, rata, rakata, parekete ke parata posoto, rabandeke parika, ratosko petalia, regete ke teke teke de belereba, rapatosko prenda, raposko par, reteke teke telekete, rebako paratosko pa, rapaskia, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now. 
Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but she will not oppress her. Come out. This, this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh, yes, you must. Go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata. Rabrete keterete. Rabaka paratapa. Babriata. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One, two, three. Go. Jesus name Go Go In Jesus name With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right we have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus, Rabapa Kobresh Taraba. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In 
the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. Answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it. With all that you have. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this place right now. For he never sends us alone. He leaves us a witness. Jesus. I want to impart gifts. Anointings. Graces. Help me instrumentalists. At the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive spiritual things. Babarata, Rababa, Robosha, Rekea, Rekoshata, Rabaria, Paros, Korekata, Mabeto Sodia, Rendekete Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen. Just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just to do it. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level. 
of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God, I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move, move, move. Fire, fire. Let it come like rain. Take it, take it, prophetic experiences, take it. Outside, take it, take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor, favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing. Fall, 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 fall. 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 Favor, 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 favor. Let it hit you, let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, baka brata rata, teke ke teke telebo. I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Higher. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages, barren women receive, barren women receive all kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances within the next 30 days many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman don't be foolish within the next 30 days Lord confirm your word if you have sent me let the fire come listen this is what I'm doing I pick you from where you are financially I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night 
I set you free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any building project that your parents are in, in the name of Jesus, within the next seven days, let the finance to continue it. I put it prophetically upon your hands. In the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs. I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics, receive grace. For your academics, receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's result. I call it excellence. Distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus, I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus, I command you increase, multiply, advance, move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with, any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We're rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please, everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please, this is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please, package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings for me. Many of you do not know. The, we don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly. Hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. For yourself and family. 
Hold, just hold it. Just hold it. Just keep it holy. Keep it. Holy. Some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that curse. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go. 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 I break the curse. Go. 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 Lift it up. Go. Go. I break the curse. Go. It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you package something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. Bakareka. Rekepa. Rapo I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Paretaka kaparoto pretelika. Hallelujah. Father, these hands that are lifted, please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy, the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity, I release it upon your life right now. I release it upon your life right now. Creativity beyond your imagination. Visions of ideas. Destiny help us. For your family members. Those who need jobs, take jobs. Those who need business ideas, receive it. Those whose business are dying, I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We are soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why hold on part of the reasons why people don't wait except they have something serious do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities they keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you I promise you, you will never be the same. Hallelujah. Now, it's not just enough to be prayed for, to be healed, to be released. You must grow in the word. I can't tell you this enough. There are many of you who only come for miracle services because you, want, you won't grow that way. You must be taught the word. Subject yourself to the teaching of the word. The Bible says, I commend you to the word of his grace, which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance. He said, according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. 
there's no shortcut to greatness there's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God everyone please stand up right now I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling all those people that I told them it's time to get born again now it's your time to run out and come out here everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this say stand please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside Jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside God is calling you leave your friend come thank you Jesus Koinonia celebrate them this is the biggest miracle come God bless you bless you sister bless you my brother don't stop God bless you you need Jesus is the fountain of life he's the one we represent here he's the one we exalt there is only one name not any man of God not Bishop Stan not Pastor Jakes not Joshua Selman Jesus and him alone I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind Jesus is calling you Jesus is calling you thank you sister thank you sister hallelujah now look at me all of you who have come here God bless you thank you so much for coming I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus name this is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very very loud say after me Lord Jesus is not a poem say Lord Jesus I love you I believe you died for me I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself today I make Jesus Lord of my life I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm born again the life of God is in me and Satan will go go was he praying and what, what was I saying and Satan will leave my life forever in the name of Jesus come out of us she's making Jesus Lord of her life you're a foul spirit out out you're a wicked spirit go this is this is authentic born again authentic one that comes with a dramatic change many of you got born again you were laughing from the beginning to the end you don't even know what happened to you this is what they call old time religion born again the one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles Holy Spirit come and live in me from today I am yours in the name of Jesus I'm a child of God I break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ amen I appreciate them look at me brothers and sisters thank you so much this is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life now I like you to just follow the ushers they will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jakes is meeting with you tomorrow by, by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please ushers make sure you remind them. Tomorrow 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now if you're worshiping with us for the first time inside and outside we're out of time please i'd like you to run and come out quickly we want to bless you appreciate them thank you for coming thank you confidence is come out here you'll be the first to receive the blessing in the name of jesus come out of her she's a visitor but you must leave don't go back the same way hallelujah when we say we have a blessing we're not joking we really mean it come quickly Thank you for coming.
Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.